This Chef's Kitchen podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. joined by Chef Wyatt Lash of Hi. the Whip Tavern in Coatesville. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. It's a pleasure to have you Thank here. Thank you for having us. And you're going to share with us a perfect festive holiday recipe yes. for beef short ribs. Yes. This is probably one of my favorite dishes. Uh, we feature it at our restaurant. Uh, and it's a braised short rib with a black currant demi and a parsnip puree. Sounds fabulous. It Where is. do we begin, Chef? All right. So what we're starting with here is grass-fed short ribs, uh, boneless. I have already uh, broken them down into smaller portion size. And what we're looking to do is get a nice good sear on it, lock in the juices. Okay. It's important to have a nice hot pan on that. It is, it's very important. What it's going to do is, is when you go to braise it, which means just cooking in the oven long and slow, and then we're going to deglaze it. And what are we adding here, beef stock? This is beef stock. Okay. You're famous for your comfort food, your traditional English pub comfort yes, food. Yes, we are. So, after you cover it, yes. uh, you want to put it in the oven for approximately two hours. Okay. At about 350 degrees. So essentially in our pot we have our short ribs, carrot, onion, and our beef stock. Yes, Correct. exactly. Okay. All right, so our next step is going to be our parsnip puree. Good, love parsnips, oh, especially in the winter months, around the holidays, they're nice and sweet. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to peel these. And just a rough chop. Mm -hmm. And it's very important with uh, root vegetables like these that you start them off with um, cold water. Okay, why is that, Chef? Uh, it's the way that the starches react once they're cooking. That's a good tip to know. It's a great yes. tip to know. Even potatoes. Really? Yes. Okay, so always start cold. These are going to boil for about half an hour. Okay. Um, in the meantime, we have horseradish root. Mm. This you can get pretty much at any grocery store. Um, and what you do is you peel the outer layer. Right. The whip is so aptly named. You have a, uh, in that area, Coatesville of Pennsylvania. It's very rural and you have a strong equestrian tradition yes, it's, there. It's, uh, we are proud to be in the same area as the uh, Cheshire Hunt, Yes, which is a huge staple to the horse community in our area. Well, I, I find it interesting too, uh, again, you are a traditional English pub and Correct. you uh, feature on Wednesday nights, which I think is so neat, uh, race nights yes. at the pub where yes. you will show on your video screens. All of the local uh, yes. races in the area uh, as far as Kentucky, Virginia. And uh, we're proud to have a lot of the riders from those races come in on those nights to watch themselves with their friends. And then we take our parsnips once they're finished. Okay. And here they are in their finished state then. Yes. And in the food processor. And how you want them a soft consistency, a fork, fork tender? Yes, fork tender okay. is perfect. Some of your horseradish root. So that's heavy cream? Yes, yes it is. Heavy cream and butter give the best flavor Done. and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what you're looking to do here is give a good pulse until okay. it's nice and smooth consistency. Great. And then you can add in some fresh herbs. It's a wonderful option to mashed potatoes. Yes, it is. And your finished product is going to look very mm, similar to this. Beautifully whipped. Yes. Okay, so this is the liquid that the short ribs cooked yes. in. Yes. Some red wine. Mm. And I'd like to do equal portions. Okay. Uh, so one cup of stock to one cup of red wine is usually perfect. And this is our black currant. You can pretty much get it at any specialty store. It is a puree. Puree. Oh my goodness. They come beautiful. from a berry and they tend to be a little uh, sweet with a little bit of tanginess. Mm. So it really helps add to the uh, flavor of the short ribs. And then we reduce that down by half. Okay. And this is our sauce at the end. Our short ribs. Okay. They take roughly about two hours. And what you want to get is a nice tender short rib. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gorgeous. And a wonderful, wonderful aroma. And you always use boneless short ribs? Uh, you can use bone in. Um, and what that will do, it will actually add to the richness of your dish, and then our sauce. Mmm, look at that. 
And I know you've brought with you some uh, delicious yes, examples. Yes, this is of one of the beers that we feature at our tavern. And this is St. Peter's Cream Stout. And How many beers do you have at the tavern? Uh, we have over 50. Wow. Uh, between uh, bottled and draft. Uh, we do a lot of local uh, and seasonal beers mm -hmm. that we like to feature. And I know you, you feature traditional pub fare and some, uh, you know, new American classics. Yes, you know, we have everything from fish and chips uh, to burgers. Oh, these, these ribs are so tender. You, you don't even really need a, a knife. You really don't. I mean... And that's the way that they should be. This is unbelievable. Mm-mm. And the parsley puree is sweet. Yes. It, it lends a sweetness to the boldness of the dish. This is spectacular. Yes. Salute. Fabulous English pub meal. Yes. Wonderful for the holidays. Thank you so much, Wyatt, for Thank sharing you. your recipe with us today. Thank you. Happy holidays to you. This Chef's Kitchen podcast was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Log on now for over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player.